Hey everyone, welcome to Hog Height. Tyler Cass joined by Kevin Luthinger and John Neighbors. And guys, just three games left in the Arkansas men's basketball season. Three doozies at Alabama, at Tennessee, Kentucky at home to close it out. Great opportunities to pick up some big wins. It starts at Alabama Saturday. Kevin, what, what can they do that's going to make this different from that loss in Bud Wall? Well, I think the big one's going to be Nick Smith Jr. being back in the lineup. I mean, point out the obvious here, but the offense is just playing much better now with him in the lineup. And it's going to get to figure out, are we, is the offense looking great because we're playing bad teams? Or is the offense looking great because they figured out something? I don't know what to believe yet. It's tough right now, but here's the thing. You took care of business against two teams, and you absolutely destroyed them. And your offense was one of the big reasons. This team has struggled offensively all conference play. The inconsistency, good defensively, can't score, can't close out games. And when you see back-to-back -back performances like that with high offense and Nick Smith especially against Georgia being a big part of that, it's hard not to think that this is a game changer heading into these final three games. It's going to be tough, but... The confidence level is about as high as it's been all season long, and for good reason. You guys both mentioned the Nick Smith Jr. of it all. Obviously, last two games looking as good as he's looked in a Razorback uniform. Again, you kind of mentioned, yeah, Florida, Georgia, not the cream of the crop. But, John, what, what have you seen from Nick? I mean, does it seem like he's kind of figured things out? I think so. I mean, the guy's got a motor. You can just watch him in the way that he dribbles and the way that he goes about it, that he is an NBA player. He's got a mindset like no other. And the best part about him is that I don't really care where he shoots or how many times he shoots because – I want that. I know that he can make it on anywhere on the floor. So I think his this hunger to get back, this team has wanted him back, and because of his just mere presence on the court, it opens up all the other opportunities for other players like Ricky Council, like Anthony Black, like Jalen Graham, other guys to get the scoring going too. So just him being there is making a huge difference. Well, and he's the one of the, one of those guys who he wants the ball in his hands. And you've seen other guys try to pick up that role, Adivo or Ricky Council, and they're just not that same player. And it's six games since that he's now started this year. They're 6-0 in this, those games, and they average 85 points per game. That would be number two in the nation. Now, not all of those games are the best talent, but the offense just plays way better with him in it. And you don't see that stagnant. Wait till five seconds on shot clock, and let's get something up. All right, I mentioned it at the start. Two, or excuse me, three games left in the season and all three against big-time opponents. With those two road games at Alabama, at Tennessee, and then at home to Kentucky to close it out, what do you expect from the Hogs? Okay, I'm going to start with you. What, what do you need to see to, to feel confident going into the SEC tournament? Just keep playing good basketball, playing hard basketball. They could lose two of three and be okay. I'd like to get two out of the three. I will say you're getting a good spot where Kentucky's at home, Alabama, we know what's going on there, and Tennessee's kind of sliding right now. There's a chance for them to really finish the year strong and maybe win all three. I want to see this team not only go out there and perform well and be competitive, but win two out of three. If you do two out of three, especially if you like beat Tennessee and all that, that's going to build that confidence once again for fans to feel that way. But I just want to see close games. I want to see the offense be able to click. I don't want to see these long droughts at the end of games where they can't score. I don't want to see uh, the team getting to the free throw line and not making their free throws. Muss has his teams playing their best basketball at this point in time of the year. I want to see them playing their best basketball in these final three games, regardless if they win or lose. That's going to get you a lot of confidence in the SEC tournament. All right, that's big picture rest of the way, but let's go Saturday. Prediction time. Arkansas, Alabama. John, start with you. I'd like to sit here and say that Arkansas is going to win. I know that they got a lot of drama and everything going on in Alabama right now, but I just think that they have so much talent, and Arkansas with Nick Smith is not there yet. I mean, he's only been back and playing major minutes for two games now. It's still going to take some time. I'm going to say Alabama is going to win. I'm hoping I'm wrong. But I think it's going to be a really close game where at the under four timeout, the game is still in doubt. Well, let me go ahead and be the optimist. Then I'll go, go ahead and say Arkansas wins. And it's going to be someone other than the usual faces getting hot. We're going to need one of those uh, Devo Davis games or maybe Ricky Council comes off the bench or maybe one of the Mitchell twins. All right. Well, I'll find out Saturday 1 o'clock when Arkansas travels to Tuscaloosa to take on the Crimson Tide.